Hey, bad, bad. Dad, damn. That sequence was insane. Man, this try making sure this transition is right into it. Wow, what a visual. Wow, this visual. Whoa. Nice. This is an this is an anthem. Nice rotation. Yes, basketball. <laughs> of course. Damn, this wow. Ooh. Nice. Wow, they said that's I've never seen a spiral formation done like this. He's just going right into it. It's it's like a, a kind of like a metaphor for I'm spiraling. Great use of like the dancers to really enhance the story. A great use of scale. Oh, this is a fantastic example of like dancers enhancing the story of the song. I mean, and it really helps that the key that Jimin's got. He's a nasty performer and dancer too. Now. Damn, levels. Nice. Damn, okay. Definitely like... Damn, man, this blocking is wild. See, this... This is one of the reasons I freaking love, like... I used to hate formations, but the things you can do... Look at this! If you have the right amount of numbers or just are creative... Woo! Great use of levels. Great use of the angle dropping down too. Because we've got a low level, we got a mid level, we got a standing level. And strong use of repetition on the grooves. Wow, this is an anthem, man. Great use of this arc shot happening right now. A little bit of Michael Bay happening. <laughs> I'm getting like this whole vibe, like, oh, that lift. Yeah, th that, yeah, like Walking Dead, Last of Us kind of vibes. But two things that stood out to me. One was the crazy, the dancers, like enhancing the whole story with, uh, with the levels, the formation changes. Just the dynamics, like it, it's, it was so clever and seamless. Uh, the next thing that really stands out to me is uh, the, the style of choreography. So it's so far like removed from the typical boy band stuff that I see. Like, I mean, that's not, I'm not saying like it's a, it's bad or wrong or anything, but it's, but this level of choreography, I think shows an evolution of different styles and different types of movement that they that they can execute um but then and i like it because it's like the it's the current generation of stock choreography uh different from what i grew up to but it's so cool I, and i admire it a lot because it's so fun to watch uh let's get right on to it hi everybody welcome to temper tantrum's indiegogo campaign we're temper tantrum dance company and our mission <laughs> is to create fun and meaningful stories through dance. We've been extremely fortunate to be able to work with organizations like Universal City Walk, the Rose Parade, and one of my favorites was uh, dancing on PBS, which was inspiring to me, honestly. 
we would like to highlight our our biggest obstacle of any year and that is funding so due to the limitations of funding because we need funding to do anything really we've been really limited to venues rehearsal time anything really production costs to kind of dwindle things down to what we can and with your help we can do so much more last year we had to actually cancel two of our dance film because we just didn't have the budget to put it together that's exactly why we're here on indiegogo we're aiming to raise thirty thousand dollars to to fulfill at least an entire year's worth of production. Not only that, but we always want to push our company a little bit further. So some of the plans for this year include not one, not two, three, but four short dance films. Have a podcast series and also do a different series called Temper Tantrum Versus. All of which is something that you can potentially have a hand in, in producing. We've done this before with a Kickstarter and it was extremely successful. So with the success of that, we are very confident that your contribution to our Indiegogo will help us achieve everything we set out for for 2023. The different things, you know, how you can be a producer, how you can participate, how you can help even dictate some of the things you film is on the tiers all over to, I think, the left. So make sure you guys go check that out. So thank you so much for even watching this video and considering supporting this campaign. Uh, we really appreciate y'all. And if you made it to the end, you're awesome. <laughs> we appreciate it, but we also appreciate your help funding this Indigo campaign. It's essential to get our goal, and I know we can achieve it. Not with just us and all these crazy people behind me, but with you too. One, the song, it just sounds like one, like an, an intro to a final boss fight. Look at this friggin' visual right off the bat. It's like, I, it's like a, it's not, I'm not going to say it starts off like with crazy high energy, but it's definitely it's like, excuse me, it definitely goes here and right off the bat because with these, with the audio cues, but also the, it, the very dramatic shapes that they're, that they're doing. So yeah, right here. Okay. I got some other markers here and then raising it up. Look at the, and then look how different it is just from the fists than to the growing hands. It feels like. Since we've been watching friggin' uh, Last of Us, it feels like the cordyceps, like the like the runners, like see that, like it's just growing, doesn't like it? It feels like that, or maybe like a little bit of like Pan's Labyrinth going on, like because it feels like because it's it's like growing, taking over, and it's also very chaotic. It like this very crazy movement. And then coming back together. So, and then come this. I love this. Pa. Perfect timing with the camera drop. Like normally the ca some camera movements are distracting, but this is like perfect because when it comes to the camera movements and all that stuff, like wherever you point your camera to is, is ideally is perf is usually saying to the viewer, look at this. This is the main important thing right now. And this is perfect. Even without the camera movement, it is still a like. This, look at the contrast of like everyone having showing their skin. It's a very light skin color, and then boom! All of a sudden, just all black, and it's just one. And everyone's in a mid level, and he's the only one kind of like a, in a hunched standing level. And then a great audio cue from the uh, super dramatic. Love this. The, this rotation right here. I saw a clip of it on my friend's story. And I love this. Like, I've, I feel like I haven't said this in a while, this Kurosawa effect of like him just like as if he just rose from the ashes or just like he's stepping out of his cave for battle. But And then we have all, all this big rotating chaotic movement just juxtaposed with his, his very laxed character the traveling man dude this song is like an en entrance for a wrestler dude it's so good six seven eight boom da. oh and like i think what i love about it too is like everyone's moving so fast and he's just casually walking 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 and then boom he's 
right into it, right in it with them. Like we got two different like wavelengths of like ba 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 ba, and then way like very chill, like which is such a nice juxtaposition. And then they're all together at they just meet at one point, which is so like a nice combination. Six, seven, eight, go. Da 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 da. Oof. The musicality. Da 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 da. Six. Seven, eight, but one and the two and three now. Da, do you hear that? Da, choo, choo. Seven, eight, but da 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 da. da, da choo, 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 choo. Oof. Musicality is nasty. Seven, eight, and one. Beautiful. Fr oh my God. And they're doing a juxtaposition of slow walk. Right, slow walk. Very quick movements right here. Da -da 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 -da. Like right here, and then r that's the energy. It's such a nice combo, man. Sienna is friggin' genius. Boom. Crate drop right here. Da -da -da. Look at the growth. Great ripple. Simple, strong shapes. It helps that they're wearing black clothing because it really brings out the shapes even more. Uh, ba -da -da. Beautiful framing. Nice ripple. Da, 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 da. Ha, love that though. Whoa. Da, whoa. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that part is sick. Like right here. Boom, boom. Going. This spiral right there. I wonder like what the metaphor is. Because the way like I'm always. What? I, I don't I, I don't have the. I'm not watching on YouTube. I'm, wa I'm watching on Premiere. And then like, you know, it would help. This is a moment where the the, sub, the lyrics would help, but like, I'm guessing it was like, what, set me free? And he's like, and this is a metaphor for spiraling and you want to try to break free from it. I don't know. That's just me interpreting my, interpreting the art. So it's supposed to be like a, a maze. Okay. The, a lot of the choreography is intricate, strong, and big. So it's, yeah. Great use of the camera movement here. Look at the scale, just like the artist, the dancers, and then everything just feels like, like, I don't know, it may be an exaggeration, but it's like a, a Lord of the Rings, like battle scene. It's, there's so much that it's doing the thing of what da backup dancers are supposed to do, which is enhance this performance. And uh, two, it's just like, the amazing things you can do with with a large cast it, and albeit you don't need a large cast all the time you know uh because one it can get expensive two uh it sometimes it's not necessary but it's like it, if you know what you're trying to go for like and uh, sometimes all you need is like three or four people other people backing up but this the song sounds like an anthem and this is just like it this helps with scale so Okay, so that part. Okay, so someone on uh, stream. Thank you, uh, like you did for the for the for the clarification that this is talking about a uh, a maze. It's talking about the Fibonacci spiral, or are you talking about the I was talking about the the golden ratio, golden golden Rachel, everyone, golden Rachel? golden ratio. <laughs> Movie. Bye. Uh, see. Ooh, just like this character choices in his performance, man. The, the uh, go, da, ha, hoo, ha, hoo. Sick. So good, man. Love this part right here. It's almost like he's being detained. And then, boom, let's go. Let's go. Props to you. And nice level change here and drop sudden so we got nice use of depth a great use of the floor because of how big the space is boom we got a, this group of five good and then a front and back and then just everyone just taking a nap ah, da, 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 da. god damn see how like this is a what that type of choreography that doesn't necessarily need to hit all the angles or be super clean you just got to match the energy 
and at least hit your friggin' marks. Like, hit their hit your counts. Ba da 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 ba da 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 five at six at seven eight at one two at three four five six at seven eight ba ba. God damn, that sequence was insane. The courage of choreography. Seven eight. This part's tight. This formation change. Look how look at the scale, man. The the cast and then him. Boom, and this is where like the power of like having numbers can is can really be great. Is like now we have this kind of effect happening. Boom, he's in line with them. Man, he's marching, marching, marching. Boom, he's up and he's man. This to try if, making sure this transition is smooth is what like for me mind boggling. He's there. Boom, he's slowly walking and then he meets their line. And he's lined up with them. And then they're they're whisked away with everyone else. He's back center. And then we got then we got this other formation right here that rotates, 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 and then people drop. And then we have this other like visual happening. We've got people kind of crawling, and then while well, people have this this little like evil pimp walk to the front. Six, seven, eight, go. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That was great. This is a great example of like the choreography, the camera also working well with the choreography. Look at this super dynamic like hands right here. These leading lines. Like all the attention looking at him and this very elegant pose. But, but, it's gonna sketch real quick. But, 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 fairy table sketch. My life art teacher would be dis disappointed, but look, this is, look, this, it, it creates such great depth and lines. It is such a good shot, dude. It's so good. So, this part, uh, is he's saying about being mocked. Ooh, that's tight, yeah. So, Sienna is a freaking genius. This, this, set, this setup is like, yeah. So good, even this shot, look at this. Every, just, the, just the depth of like a foreground, background. Like it feels like you're in the scene with them. Like, cause you're right next to these dancers right here. And but also what what's helping sell the the whole shot even more is that there's some people behind them, so it feel it really feels like you're immersed in it. Oh yeah, love this setup right here. Boom, nice post camera shake. So we love the whole this kind of framing around him using a low level to a mid level, and then it's hard to see it here, but we got a standing level as well. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, two. So a lot of the motions are like similar, but it's it's very it to me it it, it the use of repetition and all that is again hypnotic. It it's mesmerizing because it's happening in a rhythm. So here are boom six seven eight go. Love how this just feels so epic with this arc shot or Michael Bay shot, what some people do. Well, Michael Bay would like go with a closer lens. So. Yeah, see this part again. Like, I feel like it's a freaking zombies. Bam! That lift was so clean, setting it up. And this is a great way of like a great uh, way of hiding it too, because it literally like just going frame by frame. It's like separating the ground or like it. Look, it, it feels like it's so clean coming up because there's no like, um, like oh I'm like falling or like any any a secondary motion from like anything else. 
Like, it, there's nothing that's taken me out of this illusion that they're creating. So good. Yeah, that's it. This was a lot of fun to watch. I think this is a good case study of like what you can do with a big cast in terms of formations, dynamics, uh, using the levels, uh, how, how your camera can complement the choreography, uh, uh, juxtaposition of different energies from the aggressive energy to the nonchalant energy. It was so good. A lot of fun to watch. So I'm glad I got to watch this before I had to go. So. Let's hop on to uh, the music video since there's no performance video yet. That title card. Ooh. Yes, I love, I like the wardrobe. Damn, this lens is wide as hell, dude. Nice. Oh. Oh, look at that spread out, man. This place is huge! Is it a green screen or is it an actual set? It's gotta be an actual Ooh! This formation is so. D I'm glad it's up on this, this down shot. It's so good. Damn. Again, great use of how the dancers are just adding to the scale of it, man. Wait, are they using an FPV drone? Damn. Damn. Ooh. Damn, dude. Oh, the set is sick. Wow, okay, the lighting is really amplifying like and framing and like really popping them out a lot more with this that use of the lighting in the back. Yo, this wide lens is making this thing larger than life, man. Whoa, man! Yeah, that that's... Man! The things you can do with camera moves, dude. Yeah, I love, I love this visual, man. I wonder what, what does it say on his... You know, on his body? Yeah. Oh. Uh, this is a. Oh, that's tight. I like this shot. The rise. Uh, this is, was just as satisfying as the one in practice. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh, from the Twitch. Uh, it's a. Poem from by Reich. Rilke? Reich? R Rilke? B German poem. So, uh, yeah, that's it. This music video was tight. Loved that the that the backup dancers were not just used as like as his backup. They were just an essential part of the scene and the story. Loved the variety of the the camera moves. I'm a big fan of that. Like if, the, if those of you guys don't know, I work and I, I work with. Uh, a lot of film stuff as well. Um, just the the wide shots, the FPV drone shots, if it is the drone shots, like this, how big this set is to accommodate that many dancers and still look like there's 
enough room for them to friggin' sprint. It, it it's a gorgeous spot, dude. That's a gorgeous set. 